Hello, it's Peter Rosthorn, and I am back to discussing onboarding the non-technical Open Badges Infrastructure Implementer. Uh, in this screencast, I am um, completing a series of three screencasts about the technical prerequisites uh, of, of being able to use the Open Badges Infrastructure. Um, in the first two screencasts, I talked uh, a bit about JavaScript and the server-side programming language you may need to to be uh, an issuer, um, and just the sort of the, the familiarity you need with JavaScript to be successful. Uh, in the second screencast, I started to look at the technology stack and, and and look at those from more of a logical perspective about the sort of things that the issuer, the earner, and the displayer are going to require um, from more of a logical perspective than the actual sort of hardware technical infrastructure perspective. Uh, during this screencast, I'm going to look at the server infrastructure that's required for the three roles of issuer, earner, and displayer. Um, there is a diagram that's been used quite frequently within a lot of the documentation for the Open Badges infrastructure, and you'll recognize this particular diagram. The idea being is that the issuer has some roles and some features um, that they are providing within the infrastructure. You also have the displayer and assorted roles and, and features that they're providing. And then there's this idea of the Open Badges backpack, which has a series of API calls and, and sort of metadata spec, spec that um, go through the process uh, of, of receiving or issuing a badge into the backpack and then having the ability of a, a displayer API to start displaying the uh, badges onto sort of partner website and displayer websites. Um, there's also this idea that there's going to be some assertions or authentication uh, to confirm or verify that the badges are coming from where they're coming from and that that is actually a valid badge. Um, so that's really what we're talking about within this screencast is sort of a, a look at what server infrastructure is required for those three roles of issuer, earner, which comes from a bat pack perspective, and the displayer. Um, so if you are planning on setting yourself up as an issuer, um, most of the information that you're going to want to serve up and store on your servers will p most likely be stored in a database, though it is possible to manually issue badges and just store the JSON file and the information in, in files within the file system and, and host or serve those up from within your web server. But if you grow into a much larger uh, project, you're not going to want to be manually issuing badges anymore, and you're going to need to have some, some software or web application that uh, has the ability to serve up JSON messages uh, to the issuer API and, and have a related database that's going to store the information about your earner and about the badges itself. So to get a really uh, good look at uh, what sort of information you're going to need to store in the server infrastructure of the issuer, um, it's a good idea to look at uh, the JSON uh, file. And within that file, there really is sort of five main pieces of information uh, though this is a bit of a simplification, but uh, from this discussion, um, it's some basic information from an earner perspective and from a badge perspective. So from the earner perspective, you're going to need to have sort of basic earner information. So if you're issuing badges from within your institution or organization, uh, you're going to need to know who you're issuing the badge to, and the ability to issue that badge, you're going to have to have an attribute for that earner about what evidence they have provided um, that they have done the work to earn the badge. Um, so from the badge perspective, um, your institution or organization is going to need to have a graphics file that is the badge itself, um, and that's at this time a PNG file. You're also going to have to have criteria of what it takes to earn the badge. So that criteria information um, is going to be a part of the badge, and it is going to be reflected by the earner in their evidence. So this idea that there is criteria to earn the badge, and each earner is going to need to provide evidence of, of learning the badge. There's also 
also uh, some issuer information uh, regarding so the name of the course or the or the the program or the event that um, was was where the badge was issued from uh, information about an origin URL um, of where the badge is being issued from and that sort of in idea so from an issuer perspective the uh, server infrastructure needs to be able to support that so um, what you're going to need is you're going to need some uh, database management system to store the information about the earners and their uh, and criteria and the issuers um, and then you're also going to need the ability to sort of host web applications that can make a, a call to the Open Badges infrastructure and the issuer API. Um, from a sort of a server uh, infrastructure perspective for the earner, um, there really isn't that much that you're really going to need. Um, it depends on it could grow through time and you would find if there was a sort of a federated backpack approach which I referred to earlier um, you're going to need to have more server infrastructure um, but for the time being where the earner is just really having their own personal web space to be you know talking about and, and learning in the open or, or providing information about a course that they're completing uh, they may have the requirement to have a place that they can issue um, evidence. So they're going to need to have a place to store the evidence for a particular badge that they're earning. Uh, again, this information may be stored uh, within the issuer, um, but uh, as things unfold, it seems like uh, many earners are wanting to be in the place where they're storing their own evidence information. So from an earner perspective, they don't necessarily need a lot of server infrastructure. In fact, they can get away with having no server infrastructure. Um, but they are going to be present on the internet and they are going to be able to have access to things like uh, Facebook or LinkedIn or WordPress blog or some other space in which they can host their own uh, evidence and materials and also host their own sort of widgets and, and, and uh, displaying of their own badges. Um, moving on to the displayer, um, from a deployer perspective, the server infrastructure is going to follow very closely to what the issuer has in the sense that uh, the displayer is going to need to have databases and, and or a database and have the ability to host up web pages and widgets uh, to be able to display uh, badges. So from a, from a server infrastructure perspective, they're going to need to have a programming language, the ability to host web pages, uh, potentially a, a database system so that they're recording the information about who they're displaying badges for and any sort of uh, um, credentials that they may need to pass around so that the person uh, can make calls to the displayer API of the open badges infrastructure. Um, so when we're looking at the three main um, areas within the open badges infrastructure of issuer and displayer and the earner, um, the issuer and the displayer are going to require the most of, of an infrastructure uh, and, and the earner the least um, and in fact the earner can get away with having none if they are taking advantage of the back badge backpack uh, made available from Mozilla and uh, you know Facebook or widgets or LinkedIn widgets or that sort of idea to display their badges and, and rely on the issuer and their server infrastructure um, for starting to gain and, and, and earn badges.